When the checkered flag falls and the champagne sprays, we celebrate the driver who stood atop the podium. But that single racer represents just the visible tip of an enormous organization. Welcome to the F1 Masterclass Series. I'm F1 Education, and today we're going inside the complex world of modern Formula One team structures, the invisible army that turns vision into victory. The scale of operation. Modern F1 teams are massive operations. Top teams like Mercedes, Red Bull, and Ferrari employ between 800 to 1,200 people. For perspective, that's more personnel than many Fortune 500 company headquarters. And it's not just size, it's specialization. An F1 organization is divided into distinct departments, each with specialized roles that must work in perfect harmony under immense pressure and tight deadlines. Think of it as a symphony orchestra, where hundreds of specialists must play their parts perfectly, but instead of producing music, they're producing milliseconds of advantage on track. Leadership Structure At the top of every F1 team is the team principal, the public face of the organization, ultimately responsible for both performance and business operations. Under the team principal, most teams split leadership into two main branches, technical and operations. The technical director oversees all engineering aspects of the car design and development. Names like Adrian Newey, James Allison, and Pierre Wachet are celebrated because their vision shapes the machine. On the operations side, the team manager or sporting director handles logistics, race operations, and compliance with FIA regulations. When a pit stop goes perfectly or a race strategy executes flawlessly, this department is responsible. Then there's the commercial director who manages sponsorships, partnerships, and the business side that funds this incredibly expensive sport. Technical departments. The technical side is where the car is born, and it's divided into highly specialized departments. Let's break them down. First, there's aerodynamics, often the largest department in an F1 team with up to 100 specialists. They design, test, and perfect every surface that interacts with air, both in CFD, computational fluid dynamics, and in wind tunnels. A gain of just 1% in aerodynamic efficiency can translate to several tenths per lap. For context, races are often decided by hundredths of a second. Next, vehicle dynamics focuses on how the car behaves mechanically, suspension, steering, and handling. These engineers translate driver feedback into technical solutions. Powertrain engineering handles the complex hybrid power units. In factory teams like Mercedes or Ferrari, this department designs and builds the actual engines. Customer teams still need specialists to integrate the purchased power units into their cars. The composite design and manufacturing department works with carbon fiber and other advanced materials. Every part must be as light as possible while meeting stringent strength and safety requirements. Electronics and control systems has grown dramatically in the hybrid era. These engineers manage the thousands of sensors on the car and the complex energy recovery systems. The race team. When the team goes racing, they bring approximately 60 people to each Grand Prix, a disciplined traveling circus performing under extreme pressure. Each driver has their own race engineer, the voice you hear on team radio. This engineer acts as the central point of communication between the driver and the entire team. They must understand both human psychology and complex engineering. Performance engineers analyze real-time data during sessions, looking for any opportunity to improve. They might focus on specific areas like tires, brakes, or energy deployment. The pit crew you see performing sub-two-second stops are mostly mechanics who work on the cars throughout the weekend. Many are cross-trained to handle multiple roles during stops, and they practice these choreographed routines hundreds of times. The strategy team works both at the track and at the factory. They run thousands of race simulations before and during the Grand Prix, considering countless variables from weather to tire degradation to competitor behavior. The factory support. While the race team travels, hundreds of employees remain at the factory providing critical support. The remote operations room is a mission control center, where dozens of engineers analyze live data from the car, sometimes spotting issues before they're evident on track. Production teams work around the clock during race season. When a new part is approved on Friday night, these specialists might manufacture it overnight and fly it to the circuit by Saturday morning. Research and development teams are already working on next year's car and exploring concepts for future regulations, often two to three years ahead. Specialized roles. Beyond these departments are dozens of specialized roles crucial to success. Simulator drivers help develop the car virtually, testing setups and new parts without the expense and restrictions of actual track time. Performance nutritionists and catering staff ensure everyone from drivers to mechanics receives optimal nutrition for peak performance. IT and data security specialists protect the team's intellectual property, worth millions in this highly competitive environment. 
Driver performance teams include physiotherapists, trainers, and even psychologists who optimize the human element. Legal and compliance ensure the team meets FIA regulations, navigating the complex technical rules that define the sport. The cost cap era. Since 2021, the FIA cost cap has transformed team structures. With spending limited to $140 million annually for car development and operations, teams must be strategic about resource allocation. This has created new challenges in workforce management. Top teams have reassigned staff to non-F1 projects or created technology divisions that sell expertise to other industries. The cost cap era rewards efficiency, forcing teams to innovate in how they operate, not just in car design. Communication challenges. With hundreds of specialists spread across multiple locations, communication becomes critical. Modern F1 teams employ project management specialists just to ensure information flows effectively between departments. A decision made in the aerodynamics department affects manufacturing, vehicle dynamics, and operations. Organizational sure must facilitate this complex web of interdependencies. Formula One is the pinnacle of motorsport not just because of the technology or the drivers, but because of these remarkable organizations that bring together hundreds of specialists toward a common goal. So, the next time you see a driver standing on the podium, remember they're representing hundreds of dedicated professionals, the invisible army behind every victory, the true measure of what makes a winning team in Formula One. I'm F1 Education, and this has been F1 Masterclass. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into team structures, make sure to like this video and subscribe for our channel to be alerted for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching.